it's just playing a 2030 um in a looks like a longer game classical game 30 minutes 10 seconds just to see if we can improve the quality of our play which really is as i keep saying the creative thinking side of things see if we can logicalize it even better just bring the bishop out attacking the knight so we didn't fare too badly against the 2010 um, we made a blunder right at the very end um, which was a little bit silly really I'm going to capture here and we could push on his queen probably comes and puts a check on but I'm just going to do that anyway just attack through the center so obviously the queen can come here but we have many pieces that can defend upon that side so I could have gone and castle but I'm thinking well there's a little bit of activity that maybe we could stir a little bit because we don't really like the lockdown sort of same situation he doesn't have a knight anymore on this side so we could take with the queen it's just the issues with that is he can potentially well maybe not push that one he could push this one with the support of his bishop is it too much for the queen I'm going to just take with the queen it's developing another piece we've got a knight we've got a queen out so as I've mentioned before when you're playing like the 2000 pluses type thing um, just do your basic game you know just just treat it like you're playing a beginner because the only speciality they have is that they've probably played a lot more games or they, they've their quality of their game is is good in terms of they're able to take advantage of the advantages that they've got it doesn't mean in any way shape they have magical skills we all can do the same types of moves it's just trying to notice notice what they're trying to do so he's looking for me to over expand because this small little tiny piddly action here with the pawns i'm going to castle he's basically sitting waiting to see what i do and then he's going to formulate his attack towards any potential weak areas now I've castled it's a potential weak area for them to start attacking it's a weird thing because you say well I'm castled I should be safe but it really isn't when you castle you put yourself in a weakness because you've locked your king away and it's good only got a few protectors in front of it so the opponent then starts taking action towards that could attack with a smaller piece I don't think it's got much meat on the bones he can move here he can actually just go into here as well into the center so I'm going to just develop the bishop which is also towards my king area because as we mentioned when you castle it doesn't mean you can, your king is safe you have to have some sort of support around it I'm not saying that I'm going to be doing the best thing here because there, there's all these sort of tactics of pushing these pawns down and then sort of closing down your king you know knight may be sitting here obviously not at this moment in time so the bishop's protecting not going to over egg it could push on to the knight see if we can get rid of that bishop but maybe just develop another piece is it going to be better coming here with the knight to come around here maybe to come there or go in here going here doesn't really give me much so i think we're going to go on the inside with the knight so developed pieces as best possible in the early part of this game so now they're starting to push down this once they've done this particular move here now i'm saying well they could have gone and castled so i do find with the 2000 pluses they kind of not show off the fact that they don't have to go and castle but they play brave you know they go right well i'm not going to castle until everything is out there and I'm attacking and I'm attacking that can also be a weakness because they haven't gone and castle and the king is in the center of the board I don't know if I can take advantage of that at this moment was thinking of taking here but his bishop just takes back and our queen is um, stuck there then if we came back up then the bishop just comes back again so that's not too much his rook doesn't have any defense on it at the moment but we can't get to it so I'm just going to bring the bishop back potential ideas of maybe hitting this sort of angle here like this small potatoes but it's something 
so now they've castled okay so it's got a nice little weak area here but it's not weak until I can make something of it so he's waiting for me to make a mistake this angle could move the king just to do a non move but what did we say this knight was potentially coming to do knight was potentially coming here to come and do this type of thing it's not really attacking anything at the minute could always bring the bishop back like we said just to attack the bishop because it's locked in so I'm just going to bring the bishop back like we said and it seems like the only straightforward-ish type move that's not going to cause me too much trouble maybe it is because maybe his knight starts dancing but just because that's there I think we can look to try and maybe do something but again his knight can come here but the pawn can take so that's okay so how many moves in are we let's just move my little beanie head out of the way 11 moves again nice one okay so we said that in the last one and uh, oh, I'm crossing out the name there um, yeah said that in the last one uh, 20 10 one um, we did okay we've got up to 11 11 moves and I'm like going yes I'm really happy and we got so far into the game I think we had a slight advantage as well actually and then we fluffed it with uh, not actually moving our knight got a bit carried away with um, over logicalizing a potential attack on the opponent and not looking at the defense of the knight I'm not saying that it won't happen in this game but again we're looking fairly okay with the development of our pieces this is a 2030 player so we're basically in there still in the mix there's no magical things that the opponent is doing even if we lose I'm hoping I put up a good fight and that is me talking about my own quality development it isn't about winning it's about quality play and if that win comes because I've practiced developing the creative thinking and the logical thinking then I'm, I'm thinking yeah that's okay that's good if I lose and I'm still used and I've utilized it to the best of my ability then I'm still a happy man I will then evaluate what went wrong with that creative thinking and the logicalization of the moves how the opponent won even if it's from a small tempi move anything to then try and improve my game So it looks like this game may take a long time but because they're taking so long over their thought process it can be kind of disconcerting to any any lower rated players lower rated players tend to want to move quickly so whilst they're thinking during the opponent's thinking time they will have worked out a particular maneuver and then they'll just go straight for it once the opponent moves and then that's where the problem lies like now yeah instantly maybe they would have just gone and taken the pawn because that's what they'd worked out they were going to do because the opponent took so long it for me my experience it's really about looking at what is better looking at a proper calculation taking a breath and using your own time to actually calculate as well because things may have changed I didn't work out anything of what they were doing during my monologue so now I'm taking my time to have a look and see what's going on so he has blocked off this aspect as we mentioned we were going to come with the bishop attacking here so we have got the opponent thinking my knee-jerk reaction from just seeing that would have been just to take the pawn and I don't really see a problem with just taking the pawn realistically there's not this to me there's no issues with taking the pawn could push the pawn up onto the knight like we said I mean it does have this you know moving here no longer go there obviously because the pawn is blocking and it can also come here as well but we don't like the lockdown situation in the you know we don't like lockdown so we have to stick with what we realistically like to practice and work with so taking the pawn to me isn't going to hurt me yes it gives ivory takes here or takes there yes it gives them some linked pawns in the center but we still got pawns here that uh, rhinoceros in the, the sides when i say rhinoceros you know it's like it's like the horn of a, a rhinoceros i don't even know if i can do it with my hand 
yeah the horn of a rhinoceros it sort of curls doesn't it so you'd have like a curling thing I can't even do it with the arrows but so when I rhinoceros I just um, push one it's got support off the pawn here so it looks like a rhinoceros head um, what else is there so immediately drawn to that so I don't really see wasting time could, pro could probably push here as well he does have like a two on one with his knight well a one on one two on one maybe with a pawn yeah and we've got the queen so if we push there he could take here we could take with the queen or we could take with the knight but then we lose out yes we would lose out if we went here like this and see then we took with the knight his queen takes knight takes and then his knight takes the pawn so we would lose out so I'm actually just going to simply take the pawn because it's come down and it's trying to cause confusion so keep it simple nice and steady he saw our attack and he's done a defense against it so at least we've got them on the back foot at 20 30 we've got them on the back foot and we do have plenty of spaces to operate with now knight coming here we still do have this pawn now attacking this pawn if this pawn did take i don't think it will but um we could take here and if the queen did take the knight would be able to take which position is going to give us benefit he still doesn't have any protection on this um rook is there horizontal moves for the queen no not really any attacks towards the king area we do have our pieces still you know could bring the bishop back attacking the knight hmm i'm plumping for you know i'm plumping for just bringing the knight here but it's not actually attacking anything per se until it gets to here and then it's attacking the queen and the bishop but it can get blocked off yeah so if we went here then his bishop can come here attacking our bishop we could bring the knight attacking the queen but then the knight is all by itself isn't it queen comes down to defend either here or to here hmm I need something with a bit of meat on the bones develop a rook that looks like a small move doesn't it small move that the computer probably would entertain it would just probably bring the rook here mm -hmm. could bring the bishop here blocking this pawn as well that looks a little bit meatier because it's attacking something although i'm not actually going to take the knight because the bishop takes the bishop's got support where does the queen go so it's like a secondary attack i'm looking for a full-on full-on attack somewhere okay choice between three pieces these are the moves i am seriously contemplating rook bishop knight pawn pushing the pawn is more of an attack because i would i would be taking the pawn you know whereas if i bring the bishop here i'm not going to take the knight so it's not really a scary attack the knight again does have the potential for them bringing itself to here to attack the queen and the bishop but we did work out that the bishop can come here and then the knight just gets chased around hold on a minute though yeah yeah so once we move here then the bishop moves there if we then go and attack the queen the queen chases the knight around knight hasn't got any place so i think the better move is this poor move i might be ruining the day that I'm not developing the rook but at this moment i don't think there's much challenge because if he does push his pawn the knight can take or the bishop can take so we've got quite a few pieces on there if we push white square bishop knight 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 where's his knight wanting to go i think we're going to go with the pawn push 
trying to logicalize it my creative brain hasn't gone on in overload on this it's just a matter of trying my best to find a better move there's always moves that you can make but I'm trying to rationalize them but they need to be meaty this is the only one that has a potential for actually attacking and then taking the piece off the board if they don't move it hmm okay So I'm not going to guesstimate, I'm not going to waste my um, calculation time on it, it's a longer game, I'm not going to waste my calculation time calculating what the opponent potentially is going to do. I'll wait for them to do what they need to do and then from there try and work out. Did something flash on the screen then? Well, I thought it was resigning. <laughs> uh, it did flash though, didn't it? I can't see anything. Has he offered a draw? Yeah, I could offer him a draw, that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? And it does take, so now this is the quid pro quo time. Does the knight take? Do I lose tempo? Or does the queen take? Knight's protecting our knight. I think the threat of the queen, so if we did take with the knight... He doesn't have to take with his queen, You've got to remember this. But if he does, the knight takes. So we've got two, one knight here, one knight there. He's got his rook stuck on the corner over there, so I don't know, I don't think he's gonna take the queen. I think he's going to try to do something fancy. He's a 2030, so he's going to do something a bit off, isn't he? So, bringing the queen here. No, he's, Bishop will take him. So, you've got some sort of horizontal situation going on. Queen here. Trying to open up his rook to attack our queen. Mm, keep it simple, keep it simple could actually just take the queen off the ball couldn't I because it's right there in front of my face it's just that he's taken a pawn so we take he takes with his rook we take with the knight his rook is owning the file we take with the knight his knight comes down to attack our bishop Bishop attacks the rook, rook comes down, that's too much. Exchange the queens when you have the opportunity. It's just, uh, do I lose something somewhere? Does he protect this pawn somehow? There, there, there. What feels better? Not having the rook owning the file. So knight taking the pawn. his queen does take then knight here but then his rook still owns the file on that side so then we'd have to bring our rook here to defend and then the knight does have this square here to put pressure on the rook if need be okay let's um, um, I've tried to logicalize that creative thinking in the sense of the rook owning this file I'm doing my rockabilly now because I'm going I'm not too sure but we shall see I really don't know what he's going to do with his queen I'm not going to overestimate anything we have defensible rationales where's the magic so this is now move 14 so the magic is going to start kicking in at any point now I'm trying not to blunder a piece or hang a piece but like I said I don't know what the opponent is thinking see what I mean look at this we didn't um, entertain any of this so he's not he wants to link his rooks up so he's got the same mindset oh. 
bringing the rook here makes sense he wants to, i think he's looking to get rid of this knight as well he doesn't like this knight so if we bring our rook here defending the queen he takes the knight because then he's disrupting our pawn structure again that was something the 2010 you know the 2010 player that we played uh, attempting to you know double up the rooks double up the pawns you know the smallest of details and we didn't mind that doubling the pawns type thing um, but we've made an error in terms of leaving our knight for trying to do some fancy um, counter-attacking position okay so we can't necessarily move the knight because the knight is protecting the queen so in essence we may as well just take the queen off the board maybe we should have just done that in the first place but at least we've not a pawn down at the minute so if we take the queen rook takes or maybe not that rook maybe the queen's rook take king's rook takes so the rook is owning the file we didn't really want it owning the file did we but it's gone there then our knight could attack his rook so that's an option we can come behind here but I want to move this knight really don't I okay so we take his rook takes knight moves knight moves I think that's it um, yeah I'm not doing anymore that, that'll do yeah if there's anything magical after that I can't see so I'm going to just move the knight she's chomping at the bit to get them doubled up I'm really chuffed with this game as well this is a 2030 2030 do you know what I mean yeah so yeah again another game I'm really pleased with I really am I'm, I'm almost going to say I don't even care how it ends now we've done our story up to this point okay so he's there uh, push the pawn so we want to be going challenging this rook now really don't we we do have the elements of the knight like we mentioned coming here and it could then go here but he does have his own knight so I think we're going to just challenge his rook and see if he wants to stay on that file or not but they are very hard pressed to think that they're actually going to take it's a 2030 they like this tension thing and because i don't have another piece that can come here without support there's no support on my rook i think he's going to be we well, might take no he's blocked they like that tension thing i hope he pays the price now for doing that tension thing okay so let's have a look at the position knight can't go there it would be nice if it could bishop's blocking the way he's done the knight blocker because he wants the knight to be we've got like two little mini rhinoceros heads here blocking off and blocking off this knight can come here to attack the pawn so all this looks like this knight move is doing is just blocking our rook so it doesn't look like it's got another nice fancy place to go to we do have this but we could do that maybe later if we doubled the rooks so if we went up and then across doubled the rooks up then we could come here but then he's got the bishop there protecting so there's no point doing that okay so i think it might all be to do with this knight i think it might all be to do with this knight somehow Don't ask me why. Bring the knight down. Stop this pony. Bring the knight down. Opening up for attacking the rook. I need something meaty, people. I need something meaty. Is there anything meaty? I could take the knight. <laughs> um, is there a Kasparov moment here? take the knight bishop takes no i don't think that's not me enough is it a small move like a pawn move pawn push up give my king a flight square push up 
might be time to think about that sort of stuff, might. Do, 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 do. I think it's time to think about that sort of stuff. Maybe even doing a small move here because he can potentially jump here with the knight. So everywhere else is blocked off for him. Could be a small move. No two on one here. I think it's a small move. I'm going with a small move. Don't want to overextend. I'm trying not to be fancy, but hey, I'm enjoying the game. And that's key for me, it's on enjoying the game. I'm feeling the benefits of any learned stuff. And I'm probably going to get shocked out of my pants now with whatever they do, but I'm happy with what we've done so far. It's that attempt at getting rid of that fear element of playing a 2030. You know, I I remember back in many years ago when I I said, God, I'd never play a 2030. Man, crikey's sake, I'd never play the 2000s and that. They're way too good. And as I slowly progressed through and started developing my own way of doing things and the mantra came in, the answer process came in, I've developed a heck of a lot more confidence in being able to play against a, any type of player and it's not about again it's not about the winning losing drawing it's about trying to enjoy that game and really developing so he's gone for a small move as well attacking the knight he doesn't like my knight we can bring it here attacking the bishop but he knows the bishop can move i did say it was all about this knight though didn't i something about this knight is telling, telling me that it's a winning it's a winning knight but i don't know how to do it could bring it here it's a problem if we bring it there the king just defends or he leaves it there so that it gets trapped and then he starts doing some funky pawn moves like maybe dropping it to here so the knight gets trapped somehow you wouldn't have thought a 2030 would just give up space around his king I think he's expecting me to go here to attack the bishop. And then he can attack our bishop here. Or he can just bring it back. But he just wants these pawns getting activated, don't he? Pushing down. So what's the defensible rationale then to all of this? We do have this. I just believe that this is the winning night. I really do. <laughs> but if he's giving me that, is my knight getting trapped? I can move here, but can move there and I can move there. But does he fashion some sort of attack? I don't think he does really, does he? I think this is creative brain going crazy. This pawn doesn't have any protection on it as well. Right, tone the creative brain down now. Tone it down. This knight could attack this knight. I'm going to bring the knight across here, attacking the bishop. This knight can come around and attack this knight. He's probably going to leave it there because he wants the tension, but doubling the rooks, both of us really are really wanting to do that. I don't know if I can with his bishops and stuff. Mm. <sighs> these long games are killers this is the crucial stage of the game really move 19 this was so this is where like the 2030s and all that sort of stuff they then go well let's see what your end game's like and are you going to make a mistake basically because as you can see from what we've done, we've not done anything special. The opponent hasn't done anything special either. And there's no magical mystery to anything that's going on. All they're waiting for us to do is make a mistake and then they'll jump on it. Same like with us, if they make a mistake, then we'll jump on it. It's as simple as that. that there's no mystery to it. And it's just trying to avoid making that mistake. 
I feel like I've been set up here but I've looked at the situation and it doesn't look that bad I don't think the knight can come here we do have the knight coming here after we've seen maybe I could have seen that earlier hmm deep think mode so this is the thing that we as lower rated players do we see how I've got my knight here arrow pointed on I'm going right okay once he makes a move that's all I'm going to do but now he's starting to put pressure on the pawn here so something's happening that is going to stop my king from or this pawn from moving I said I thought this was the winning knight and it's blocking off all of the potential attempts that I was talking about because I was thinking of bringing my knight here wasn't I so if I did bring the knight there then his knight can freely take and then if I take then his bishop takes with a check on my king so they're blocking off all of the aspects of what we were thinking about it's also blocking off the knight attacking the rook here as well so all these positives to that move our knight can come here now to attack this knight and also this pawn that is unprotected so what actually happens from that story we did say this potentially was the winning knight I think it's gonna have to come here to attack the knight what actually happens because he doesn't actually have to take He's got his bishop facing here. I'm going to bring it and attack the knight. Still happy. I'm still happy. At least I've seen a type of attack that can maybe equalize or. <laughs> but as we've seen, the opponent isn't doing anything that I'm saying really. Apart from the odd bishop move or something. So, as lower rated players, in our minds, in a long game like this, there's that urgency to rush a move just to get the game over with. Or you might feel the snowball is getting bigger and bigger and somehow, somewhere the opponent is, is just tricking you and you can't do anything. So you start doing quicker moves just to say, well, look, I saw that, so I'm actually going to take this, you know? So if he doesn't take, then I'll take the pawn here, that type of stuff, you know. If he moves his knight, we've got that covered off, so he could always just move his knight, well, back. He does actually capture, woohoo, steady on with the arrows. Does that weaken us? Gonna take anyway, but does that weaken us now, now that the picture is here? He's got the pawn push, that we said he wants to get those. Oh, he's got an x-ray through, but he moved fast then. So he's falling into his own little trap, I think. Because we can push here. We can push to protect the knight. We can also take the rook with a check on his king. Then his rook is owning the file. And we don't have anything else supporting the rook on that side. So I don't think that's going to work. We could move our knight to attack his rook. But that's not going to work because his bishop's there and there's no checks on his king so pushing here to protect the pawn I don't believe the bishop is going to take for some strange reason I think what's going to happen is his rook is going to come here attacking this pawn and it's on a white square I don't have a white square bishop and so we could let him have that pawn and we'll take this pawn here with the knight I don't know if that works though because then his bishop would be taking this pawn mmm we push bishop takes the knight 
Pawn takes, Bishop takes the pawn. Ah. There's even more cleverness to his situation than we thought. Could attack his bishop. Pawn takes. No, it's not going to work, is it? Looks like I'm going to have to defend with the rook, but that is not good, is it? Yeah, after all that. So if we go there, bishop takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. So he ends up being a pawn up. Small little dance there. Hmm. I don't think we want to go down that route of being the exchange down. Just try and see, keep something. Bishop's got access to attacking the rook. We did mention that earlier on. But if we did that, he would still take our knight because he's then on our rook. So we'd lose tempo. Hmm. Could move there, but again, we lose the rook. No check on the king. Let's have a look at that. Rook takes. Rook takes. Rook is owning the fire. Rook is owning the file for a moment night there. That's not going to work. Whoa, tense times, tense times. It looks like our, the tempo has been won slightly by the opponent. Because I'm going to lose a pawn. The only way I can defend is by bringing this rook here. But even then, that doesn't look too good. So I'm starting to get squished. Oh no. So we go here. Bishop's not. If the bishop takes, rook takes. I can't really see them taking with the bishop though. Oh, that's a shame. Hmm. Or could we do a fancy thing? Bishop attacking his bishop. Yeah, again, we still lose out though because if bishop is just going to take our knight. And if we took his bishop, where does he go? He takes the rook. Yeah. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, I've lost the file. I've lost the rook file. That is not good. See, even if we go there, I think the bishop is still going to take. Then we go up. I think the saving grace is that he doesn't have this but he does have rook rook my rook is stuck up there I'm on his bishop okay let's go with that let's go with that we've talked it through unfortunately that situation doesn't work with the pawns we lose a pawn so it's probably going to attack here Whoa, they may have left the game. Oh, he's come back on. Whew. <laughs> oh, because we took so long, he probably left the game. Oh, I thought we'd won a game on time then. Oh, oh. oh dear. Right. See, people think you lose, um, yeah, leaving the games when you take so long thinking. He's moved there dead quick with his rook. I think he's moved there because of the situation that we sort of talked about whereby we'd probably win his bishop so we need to go through that again he's looking at doubling up his rooks yeah we can't go and attack he's also probably stopping this type of stuff Need to move my rook off of here and attack this pawn. His pawn drops down. My bishop doesn't have anywhere to go, so it ends up being here. So it ends up messing my pawn structure up a bit. Or is he looking for a two on one? Bishop takes, and he's got two on one on my knight here. Hey, hey, hey. 
So if we went back to that old story, pushing here to defend with the pawn, this bishop still can take, but our rook could take. We lose the rook though, don't we? He goes for that thing. Check on the king. Ah, uh, that's what he's looking for. He's looking for that check on the king thing. So should we just attack the bishop? Is he still getting a two? He's still getting a two on one though, isn't he? If he goes there, if he bishop takes, then we can take. Oh, but then he gets the rook with his bishop. Oh my gosh. Well, I think we're down by two tempi, I think here. Hmm. Okay, creative brain is going into overdrive. So we bring this to attack here. But then his bishop can come here with a check on the king and the rook. King takes. Bishop takes. All oh, the rook takes. Bishop takes. The knight can't take back because of that. And he's taken a pawn off as well. That's all too technical for me, is that? Whoa, that's way fancy. Whoa, dear me. Uh, we're in trouble here. Maybe move the king then. Oh, am I too late? I'm too late to the party, aren't I? Just move the king. Because that is what is causing all the angst. Because he's going to win that tempo. Oh dear, wow. Wow, that was a bit of a thinker. It's not over, but I don't I'm not in a great advantage, but being able to see a type of pattern that they potentially can do some damage on with you, I think that's a that's a good good quality thing for me anyway. Yeah. I am quite secretly impressed with that. Obviously he can still checkmate me with something else, but at least we observed that there was a bit of an issue. In fact, we saw this early on when we should have just moved the king earlier on. I think. But I think I'm trying to understand how this player is trying to attack. They're winning tempos left, right and centre. We're about two tempi behind here. Because of the captures and the discovered checks type things on pieces. So I think this pawn is going to be pushing down onto the bishop just to do something. I'm on 4 minutes and 39. They're on 19 minutes. <laughs> but I'm hoping that this, these games against the higher rated players are showing that they are human. They are they're not invincible, you know. Um, and you can have some really good games against them if you're really wanting to practice your games and really develop how you move um, it's trying to read what the opponent is trying to do and then trying to circumvent that but also trying to create your own situations as well it's not just about sitting waiting for the opponent it's trying to develop your own understanding as to how to get advantages in the games and the answer process does help that you know it's a simple process and understanding all the fancy tactics and fancy maneuvers and patterns and um, that's all good i'm not a tactics man i just like to understand positions on the board and have a path decent position on the board to cause people a little bit of trouble so that's why i like to play the higher rated players just to give them a little bit of a uh, you can't do that against me <laughs> And the rook is down. We do have a little bit of this, but he's got a two on one here. He's got a two on one there. He's put a lot of thought into that particular move. Doesn't mean that it's anything. Can move the knight here, I think. So two on one. If we brought the bishop there, his rook takes, bishop takes. Yeah, that don't work. Pawn up. Again, he probably can. Okay, so if we did the pawn up, I think he's waiting for me to push this pawn up to defend because he just wants to do that. Uh, 
and then I can't go if I go here his rook takes pawn takes and then his bishop still wins that pawn so he's going for that combination I'm hoping fingers crossed I'm not going to fall for it because that's all they've been waiting for now he's got this pawn here he's got my bishop though so every time you know he's leaving a gaff but then he's taking a whole chunk of stuff my gosh so even if I move the knight he's gonna just take the bishop do I have a morphe do I have a morphe I don't have a morphe you know unbelievable right okay we don't have a morphe situation it's like a higher piece but the higher piece is just going to take the knight mm. higher piece is going to take the knight rook takes bishop takes bishop takes so you'll have a bishop against my bishop and a rook against my rook well where's his king interesting situation pawn for a bishop is there anything after that rook takes knight down here attacking the bishop he's got the bishop defending his rook as well so e ye 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 situation this is let's have a look let's have a look again bishop takes the knight i can't defend it i can't defend my bishop all the night mm -hmm. knight attacking the rook not going to take the bishop then is he well he's got his bishops on my rook over here as well isn't it oh my life oh, i'm gonna have to do some shady business aren't i time's running out knight attacking the rook he's got options of taking the bishop if he takes the bishop we take his rook takes our rook oops takes our rook we take his yeah that that is not looking good but i'm gonna have to just go with that he's saying he's lost left the game oh we could get it in a few seconds 10 seconds 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 2 1 yes clear victory boom <laughs> i'm sorry that's um that's not the way to play the game I'm so sorry um, but that is actually what happened so the opponent got that board um, 2030 that they um, kind of left the game the game wasn't over I wasn't letting my time run out I was actually thinking so <laughs> gonna have a look at the analysis on that one <laughs> that is, <laughs> That is so dirty play, but I didn't do that on purpose. I was genuinely looking at a good position on the board. Um, so I think that was the opponent's own fault for leaving the game. They shouldn't have left the game. And so we're going to look at the analysis. We, I don't think we were anywhere near. And they had loads of tempi against us. Yeah, Black's out and out winning here. Yeah. yeah so the idea was they take and then basically... I was probably going to take with the bishop actually. I was probably going to take with the bishop and then go like that. But then I'm, I'm, it's a bishop and a rook against them. So I wouldn't have stood a chance. So it's unfortunate that the opponent actually left the game. I don't really know why they left the game. They were winning. Um, there was no rationale as to why you would leave the game like that. Um, you would wait for my time to run out more than anything, wouldn't you? But never mind.